Trin Mago vibes and so Tori in a dragon fruit market. Check out this wonderful fruit grown locally here in Pinal. So stick around as we explore dragon fruit. What's up my Trinbago Vibe peeps? Welcome to another edition of Trinbago Vibes. As you can see behind me, we're at Pioneer's Dragon Fruit Market right here in Pinal. And we're kicking this off with the drive to get here at the Dragon Fruit Market. I mean, you can also use Google Maps to find it, but these are some reference points. You take the Debe exit off the highway, heading south of course. And this is mainly for those who don't know the southern area, at least this part of south. Then you head left onto the SS Earring Road. That's the San Fernando Superior Earring Road. And you continue along this road until you reach Catuaro Trace, which is a shortcut to avoid a traffic light further down. Now, as you approach the roundabout on Catuaro, you take the second left, not this one here where that van is coming out, the second left, right, this one here, that will take you down to a next roundabout. Now, there are timestamps in the description below if you want to skip ahead to the juicier part of this dragon fruit video. But we're almost there as we swing left onto Clark Road Pinal. Now, at the end of Clark Road, you make another right onto Rochard Road, and then it's the second left into Ragunanon Trees. Oh, look, there's a sign Dragon Fruit Market this way. And all you have to do from here is look out for the steel framing, and we have arrived at Pioneer's Dragon Fruit Market. On arrival, we were greeted by John, who made us feel like home as he gave us, or rather educated us, on the history of the dragon fruit market here at Pioneer, inside Ragunanon Trace off the Rocha Road in Pinal. Then we proceeded into the fields, where we learned more about the super fruit. Actually, let's take it in for a little bit. All right, this would be an eye in the shell, but about two weeks, mm -hmm. right? This here would be the next stage to it. The flower, it would have opened any flower. Right now, we have no flower actually that you can see. But most of them open, right? Yeah. And he started to form the fruit. And then he looks something like this. Mm -hmm. And then he turns to this guy here. Yeah. So you see a few stages on this mm -hmm. in the process of writing. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this started to be a March, April. Right? And continues to be here until November, December, something. Okay. When that finishes, be it for this year. No, potentially each one of these nodules is a fruit or a flower, right? Or a branch. Yeah. Like in some instances, like this, you know. But when the year finishes, all these are no longer potentially viable. So it's not going to be an year. Pioneer dragon fruit. So the reason for the bags is so that the birds don't birds, yeah. don't eat it. Oh, this is pretty awesome. Look at this, look how much fruit's on this tree. Different ages. Yeah, so they have these pink on the outside, white on the inside, red on the outside, white on the inside. They have pink on the outside, pink on the inside, which is a hybrid, I think. And red on the outside, red on the inside, yeah. Like this one here, this sample here. Wow, this is pretty. And this is what they call red right on the inside. Now let's see how it tastes. Dragon fruit. Check out this. Wow. Now I've had this before in Canada when I visit and it wasn't as sweet or good as this. This is real sweet, real nice. Pioneer dragon fruit market right here in Pinal. Currently, there is no fee to pay to come in here. Next year, 2022, that might change because they have a few things going on here. But right now, to come here, I mean, you could visit, you could purchase dragon fruit and other few items. You could even purchase like the plant itself to plant. But to come in and take in a tour and do all these things, it's free at this moment for the rest of this year. And all you gotta do is go on their Facebook site, which I'll leave in the link below. And 
Facebook appointment. Not all the time you'll get fruits bearing here, so you'll have to follow them on Facebook to find out when fruits are bearing and then book your appointment. They will also inform you via that site when it is you could come down and make your appointments and come and take a tour. And wow, it's just amazing seeing everything, guys. It's just amazing. In 2019, after experimenting with the uh, different way to plant it and get results, we finally got the right recipe, I would say, to, to give us the correct amount of fruits, best quality, get a prolific bearer because at the end of the day this plant is indigenous to Trinidad as well. So they don't grow on the ground, they grow on trees. So from that we got ideas and we put it together and we got fantastic results. You see our um, fruit is normally sweeter than most people want because of what we do and the type of money you want. Like I said we don't ever plant a single one. And that is Mr. Anand, the owner of all this and yes we tasted one of the fruits and it is best best thing you'll ever eat here yeah, yeah. yeah in terms of dragon fruit wow it's just amazing so without further ado let's hit the b-roll Rain don't stop us. The only thing rain is stop is cricket. Look at that. Look at that weather. That's rainy. I mean, it's dark. But see what? But still, these fruits are awesome, guys. These fruits are awesome. Now as you can see, the weather here in the Caribbean <laughs> One minute is rain, next minute is sun Next minute rain and then, well, sun came back out already I got a little soak, but that's fine, that's alright That's life in the Caribbean Our tour guide, Mr. John Wealth of information as, as well as There's a youth called Kevin, right? You can also get mulberry and strawberry plants here Check their Facebook page, have all the information Make sure to like this video, comment, subscribe and check them out guys Trinbago vibes Pioneers Dragon Fruit Market. We're gonna put you some. You already saw me eating it. It was delicious. It was amazing. Hope you enjoyed the store. Until the next one, my Trinbago Vibe sweeps are gone. Later.